Today I was sponsored by Core to do the ultimate speedrunning gauntlet. Now really quick, if you don't know what Core is, basically it's a new online platform that lets anyone play and create PC games for free. And I mean, just look at them. There's even an Angry Dream one. There are thousands of games already made on the platform and new ones are getting made every single day. You also don't need any coding or art skills to create a game, so that's really cool. You just create it, publish it to the Core platform, and anyone can play it. So if that sounds interesting to you at all, check out the link in the description to download Core today. But with all of that out of the way, let's get started with the gauntlet. And with just the first game, you can already see it's going to be a good one. Now we can start our speedrun as soon as we reset, and then right away you can see what this game is all about. Basically, our character is drunk, and we have to help him make it to his house. But that's much easier said than done, especially because the screen is going to randomly tilt to the left and to the right. So I have to always keep focused and just make sure that my dude doesn't die. And yeah, this can be really stressful. We're just going to keep going up here, and finally we can make it to the hardest part of this map, which is this part. This is a very skinny area, so it is extremely easy to die. So I'm going to be very careful here, especially because your angle can switch really fast and just ruin the entire run. And I'll be honest, I've been on this game for long enough. I am ready to be done. We're just going to slowly creep up and finally we make it to the end and can go home. So we're done with the first level. Now, our next one is going to be super speed run, which is actually a speed running level. Hooray. So after a bit of a loading screen, we get to see this entire thing thing it's like hey we have super speed run and that's cool but I'm just kind of trying to start the speed run so we can get in here reset and now we can start with this now the cool thing about super speed run is it's basically just a speed running level or not even basically it literally just is your only objective is to go fast and you know I'm pretty good with that so we can just take that bounce right over there make it to the portal and there are going to be a total of 10 different levels we're on level three right now it is difficulty level easy but these levels will get harder as we go on and yeah we're we're just trying to go as fast as possible save as much time so for this one we can use this little skip where we go all the way over here and yeah just kind of skip the entire level it's beautiful make it through the portal and then we have this little area which has all these leaves oh and I actually beat my level four record oh that's pretty good but for this one what I want to do is jump right there and we literally skip the entire level because we can make it to this flower and that's just amazing and then level six also has a cool little skip where we can come down here and then jump all the way up there make it to some toast and yeah now we're riding on some toast and the toast is also a little gross I'm not sure why there's so much mold on it I don't really know what the creator was thinking but I guess that is the beauty of core you can make your game however you want even if it does include gross toast but that will be level six and that went pretty well and now we can make it to level seven which is going to be the ice level ice levels in most games aren't the most fun thing in the world but luckily this doesn't have any different physics so it's pretty much just the same thing as always also I wasn't sure sure where I was going there for a second so we kind of just lost a tiny bit of time but we're still going pretty well I just have to make my way through all of this ice terrain this is probably the longest level just because it's naturally long but we can go all the way over here make this jump as well and make it into the portal until we make it into level eight which is going to be the fire level and this is probably one of the coolest levels first of all we have to go over here and do all of these jumps and these are kind of precise you want to make sure you don't over or undershoot them and then we can make it into this boost which gives us a gigantic boost to make it all the way over to this hand I'm gonna make sure I'm able to land on it because the momentum in this game is sometimes kind of weird but we make it through there and now we're on level nine which is probably one of the hardest levels I mean obviously it's one of the last ones so that only really makes sense but I'm gonna jump through all of these go on these cogs this is kind of annoying because they are very skinny things that you can very easily mess up on but I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my time just to make sure I don't die and make it through all these we can make it to these platforms as well or I guess these are anvils they're not even platforms I don't even know what I was thinking but that is a beautiful jump right there we can do another one there as well and I was really worried about messing that up but finally we can make it to level 10 and this is going to be the last level of the speed run so what we can do is make that jump make another one of these just make sure that we don't die have one that goes all the way over here one more and then finally make it over there until we can make it to the end of the speed run and be done with our second game all right so now we're going to go right back into here and we're going to be doing frozen light maze it did not come up for me just saying frozen okay that took a tiny bit of time but there we go we got that one now frozen light maze is definitely the most beautiful game out of all the ones we're doing so i'm excited to get to it there is this little intro that lasts about 30 seconds so there's not too much we can do about that but it's giving us a bunch of backstory i don't really care about it i'm just trying to speed run but we get a strange light that woke us up and we can actually start in just a second there we go so first of all i'm gonna grab my compass 
furnace and then make my way out this door and grab our first little what are those called like snow things oh it's a snowflake how did I not just know what that was anyway now we're going through and you can see this game is pretty beautiful it's also a pretty fun game obviously it's called frozen light maze so there are gonna be a lot of mazes starting with the first level right here we can open it up and then that will go over there and thankfully since I'm speedrunning this game I already know where everything is you can see on the bottom left that we need to collect 12 different snowflakes so we're gonna go through each of the different areas and get all of them the next one that I have to go to is right over here and the really nice thing about this game is you can just admire it. It just looks beautiful. But now we can make our way over through these trees, go over here, and we have our first little platforming section, which platforming isn't the best thing about this game. It's kind of messed up. Okay, that was not the best. Yeah, I definitely don't love how the platforming works in this game. Please, I've had such an okay speed run so far. I don't want Frozen Light Maze to ruin my gauntlet. Oh, to get, can I please get that jump? Okay, there we go. Was that that really that difficult we can take this snowflake and be on our way that did not need to take that long but anyway the platforming in this game is obviously not my favorite part as you could see by me failing over and over again but we can make it through there and get on to another beautiful part of the game so we'll open that door get another snowflake which is going to be right there and open up the next part for this part it's like the gears part and there are also going to be teleporters so we can make our way to this one then go to the left again to make it to another teleporter and then go all the way over here what we're gonna want to do is set this up for later so I'm gonna tap this twice so that is set up go all the way over here so we can make it to another one of the snowflakes this is kind of annoying like I said platforming is not my favorite in this game but we can get that thankfully and now I just have to wait for the snowflake please do okay just let me get the snowflake okay there we go now we can teleport back that was kind of annoying but we made it through before we go all the way over here we make it to another one of these teleporters and now we're just just gonna keep going and yeah I can just not stop admiring this game it just looks so good what I'm gonna want to do here though is put that right there I kind of messed that up for a second and go all the way over here to this teleporter where then we can go over here press that a couple of times please let me keep pressing it there we go go all the way down there teleport back to this place see we're using that teleport ability really well so then we can go up here and do some more platforming which this section isn't the worst out of them and I say that right as I fail at it but we can platform all the way up this thing until we get another one of these snowflakes so I'm just gonna grab that on my way down and make my way back now I can go all the way over here so we can tap another one of these buttons and set ourselves up for the next thing so I believe this is three three taps as well we can go and teleport back and now one more time we're going on this leftward path and we're going to make it over here so with this all we have to do is make our way through we see another really beautiful area where we teleport there we see like a Christmas tree or something and now we're all the way out with this part we can now get into another area which is going to be this purple area which is even more beautiful seriously like this game just looks so good I can't even describe it better than that now what I'm going to want to do is keep going over here until I see this little area and then I can do some more platforming hooray I'm just gonna keep jumping up these making some beautiful jumps trying not to mess this up and there we go we can make it up there before falling down getting another one of these snowflakes and now going over here and with this there's actually going to be a little crack all the way over here so I can jump there go in here and now kind of just fall to my death but it's not actually my death because it's just water I guess so what I'm gonna want to do is go down into these fiery red pits I really don't think this is a good idea but I'm gonna do it anyway and we can go here get another one of these snowflakes that is going to be nice and easy before making our way and swimming all the way back up and yes this is also a swimming section if you weren't able to notice but now we can go in this little cave and then use some okay what is going on sometimes I get confused in this game there's just so many things that are happening but we make it to this and now we have some bouncy mushrooms hooray for bouncy mushrooms I guess I mean they're pretty cool so I'm just gonna keep bouncing on them I'm gonna try to do this pretty quickly and make sure I don't make any mistakes before we can go through this door and pick up our last two snowflakes there's gonna be this one right over here before we can go back and get our last one which all it takes is going down this hallway I'm not sure why there are all these different hallways when only two of them have the snowflakes but I'm just not gonna worry about it we can make our way get that snowflake and that's going to be beautiful before going back into the portal and this is going to let us open up the final area which we have one more puzzle now for this puzzle what I'm gonna want to do is push this thing two times over there and then push this thing three more times obviously you're supposed to figure this out by doing puzzle things but I 
I already know the solution. So then I can tap on this button twice, tap on this three times, and tap on that three times, and then we're gonna open up the palace. So there we go. We now get this beautiful palace. I know I keep saying things are beautiful, but like this game just looks so good. And then finally, we make it to the end where we get a nice little elevator cutscene and we can't really do anything to speed it up. But hey, it's nice and relaxing. All we have to do is make it to the end, you know, admire all the different things we came across. We get this nice created by Ammon Bufils. I'm gonna say that wrong, I'm so sorry. But now we can end off the time as soon as we land over here. We see our throne and there we go. Wait, actually that is not time. I was thinking that was time, but I was gonna do one last speed. Oh gosh, this just became scuffed. I did not mean to end off time. I meant for that level we ended off time and of course, okay, we're just gonna keep going anyway we have one more level and that is going to be gotta go fast and you can probably already guess what this is gonna be yes my timer is also red but i kind of deserve it for making that mistake but hey look we're sonic so this level is pretty much you're just sonic and you're going fast it tells us to press jump so we can press some jumps and yeah we're just trying to go as fast as possible we'll press jump twice here to make sure we don't die you know sonic's just kind of doing his thing and yeah this is just one of the beautiful games that i wanted to showcase it doesn't have the most substance but you know some great things are happening right now just gonna keep going faster getting kind of scared okay now we're gonna get to the war okay um anyway game over hooray yeah that's sonic and that's our time 1523 see you can even make games that are nightmare fuel of course but even with our technical difficulties i think that was a pretty good speedrunning gauntlet we did our best and we got a pretty good time but i'd like to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it it really helps me with the youtube algorithm and i really appreciate it also check out my other videos i do a lot of speedrunning type content on this channel so if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy my others and if you do subscribe and finally i want to give one last shout out to core their game's amazing you can do a lot of cool things with it so i definitely recommend checking it out again the link to download it will be in the description but enough shilling thank you all for watching i'll catch you next time